Okay, so I'm going to show today how you could paint or project an image onto a dome object in Blender to use as a sky dome in Unity. First, we're going to go under Edit and Preferences and search for Mesh. Uh, and by default, this will be disabled, but you want to enable the add-on Add Mesh Extra Objects. And you can save preferences, but that should be set to save by default. So by enabling that, now we have access to an object called the Round Cube. This is a, a primitive object that has a bunch of base settings. You just want to look under Operator Presets and choose Rounded Cube. And then in order to get this cube to actually be a sphere, you'll want to type in 1. And you can um, adjust how many uh, divisions there are and so forth, but this works for our purposes. So entering edit mode will commit all those changes. We can no longer edit the base um, primitive settings anymore. And I'm going to tap 1 to go into front perspective view and then 5 to go into front orthographic, um, which flattens the perspective so that in the x-ray view, actually I should show you the difference. So in perspective, you're going to have a hard time making a clean selection. But um, in orthographic mode, by tapping 5, it flattens the perspective, and now all of your selection will be perfectly even. So then using um, left click to box select, I can just delete faces of that. Um, this, can, this will be our dome now. And then going into um, UV editing mode, can select everything and tap U for the unwrap options and just tap unwrap and that'll um, project it the UVs this is kind of like the wrapping paper of our image um, of all of our not our, our images our of our 3d mesh and just so that because you can see some of these squares are smaller than the rest when they aren't in the UV space even though they aren't in actuality, they're pretty evenly sized. You can go under UV and minimize stretch, and it will automatically um, go to max. You can scroll your wheel back and forth to go between the full one or zero extremes. As you can see, the blend in the upper left hand corner is showing. So you can just leave it at the default and then hit enter or click, uh, left click. And that will confirm um, your minimizing the stretch. And then under texture paint, we can go in and add a texture to this object. We're wanting to paint on the base color, so we'll just click on base color and we'll name it something like dome base color. And you'll want um, a square of uh, what's called a power of two um, image re uh, size dimensions. So either 128 by 128, 512 by 512, 1024 by 1024, 2048 by 2048, or 4096 by 4096. Um, any of those work. You can also, not for this particular purpose, but you can also mix those up. So you could go, you could have an image that's 1024, by um, 2048 if you wanted a rectangle, as long as each side is a power of two. But for this, I'm going to set it to 2048. This will give us a decent resolution for something that will be seen off in the distance. I'm going to deselect alpha because we don't need this to be transparent, although you could. Um, if you wanted this to be transparent, then whatever you paint on here could then stand in front of some other objects. So maybe you have a skybox in your Unity scene or some trees on the terrain off in the distance. Um, you, you might want to leave this as alpha. Um, but for this purpose, I'm going to turn that off. Um, I'm going to set a nice medium gray color here. 0.5 in the 
value and click OK. And now it's already applied. You can see this material has an image in its uh, image base color slot. And then um, in this panel is where we can add images to use as um, in, in the brush selection. Oh, also over here, um, our image hasn't, our new image hasn't been selected. So I'm going to go ahead and select our dome base color. Going back to the brush, I'm going to add new and then choose to open. Um, I think over here we can choose an image like this one. And you can see the mapping is set to repeat. If you don't want that, um, you can set it to clip and then when you draw with it uh, and you get beyond the bounds of the image, it won't, it'll just be blank. But we want repeat, that's fine. And back into our tools, which is in the property, the top tab of the properties panel here. Then we can go down to our texture and choose that texture from the list, from the brushes. And for this, we're going to use stencil. This is how we project this image onto this plane. And so once you've done that, when your cursor is in the texture paint window, um, you can see this and you can right click to drag it around and um, some of the other, I think it's, nope, it's not S. It's not Alt. Okay, Control lets you rotate and then you can reset that here if you don't like what you did. Um, you can also type in rotation scale and offsets. Um, I think it's, okay, Shift holding shift and right clicking and dragging um, scales up the image. And then obviously the 3D view is your scroll wheel and your middle mouse button. So let's see, we just want to start painting this image onto the side of the dome. I'm going to put it back into um, perspective mode or uh, orthographic mode. By the way, I'm just going to go and change the shading to smooth. That makes it easier to see. All of these tabs are connected. It's the same object in the same scene in the same collection. It's just different tools um, so that you don't have to go through and change what each panel is. It's really handy. Um, so I'm going to shift and middle mouse button to move um, my dome in the view and then use my scroll wheel to zoom in and then right click to position my image and then as soon as I have it let's see let's try um, let's see I was gonna yeah we can kind of rotate it a little bit because this is angled and then you can just start painting straight in there and the whole image will be painted on top. Now if you wanted this whole um, what should I say if you wanted the the building to be separated it might be better to um, use a texture here in your in your brush um, that you've already taken into Photoshop and then maybe um, erased the stuff around this because Photoshop has some easier to use tools for um, extracting um, objects out of an image. But that would be a subject for another tutorial. Now to see how this really looks on here, I'm going to switch to viewport shading mode. And so that this, we can just move this off to the side. You can see how it looks from inside as well. So now we have an image on a dome. Um, and hey, I guess I might as well go ahead and show how it would look to edit this in Photoshop first. 
mission reference. And I'm going to control zero to um, frame up this image in the view. And then just to select this object, I'm going to choose this object selection tool from the W menu. <laughs> and you can see it's already pretty. quickly figured out what we want here. Uh, we might want some more of this here. So let's... use the polygon lasso tool to add to our selection. I'm going to hold down shift, click, click, So it just adds the bottom edge of the building in here. Uh, and then I'm going to subtract a little because we've got some excess here. And here. I don't want to get too picky because uh, I just wanted to show how this might work. We'll add in these little. box shapes. Well, you get the point. So then I'm going to mask that off and then I can export that as a PNG and that should save the opacity or transparency. And in here we can control Z. Oh, you know the reason why it was really dark is because this um, I had set this to the base color to gray. So I'm going to paint white on top of this dome and go back again. We're still in front or the graphic. And then in my textures, I can go in and open up that new one. We just or not? Where did it go? I'll export PNG. It's oh, it's under downloads. There we go. So now. straight on here. And you can of course use like the um, uh, brackets, the bracket keys um, to make your brush bigger or smaller. And there you go. Uh, one tip about the fall off of this brush Sorry, I'm in the brushes panel and I need to be in my tools panel. Um, is you can choose um, this squared off looking brush so that, um, let's say we're not using this and we're just going to go into a tiled color and we're going to paint on a line. That's how you get like a straight edge. Um, is going under fall off and choosing this here. And you'll also want to like decrease the spacing because you can see a tiny bit of a bumpy edge there. So I'm going to control Z. And now I've got a straight edge. Whereas if the fall off was at default, there's kind of a soft edge. So anyway, that's neither here nor there. So that's how you would get an, um, an object from a photo onto an image that you could then, um, then we would save this image in the image panel, save as, um, I'll put this in the downloads too, dome base color. And if, if you have an alpha, you'll want to save it with an alpha. And then under layout, we can 
export this object as an FBX and choose selected objects and mesh. We don't need any of these other objects. Give it a name. Um, and export that. And then this object, uh, we can apply the texture in Unity, which I can maybe do that in another recording. But hopefully that helps you get started in um, potentially painting domes um, with images on them for use in a game. Thank you.